Warning. The show you're about to see contains material unsuitable for children and questionable among most adults. Viewer discretion is advised. Now, reuniting for the first time in three years, ladies and gentlemen, Banana! Look, there's no reason to do this song tonight. I have, uh, I have an announcement to make. <sighs> Bananas is no more. You guys are fired. Fuck. What? What? Guys. What? It was good working with you guys. Well, we can go watch Letterman. <laughs> Great. Yeah, watch Letterman. Dick. Can I get a ride? <laughs> Actually, you stay. I have a job for you. Yes. You know I need work. I'm officially retiring from punk. Roll the video. They were huge. They were huge. I just love them. They're just, they're just so hot. I can't believe it. They're so hot. Oh my God. They're amazing. There was NSYNC. There was the Backstreet Boys. But this was different. This was See You Later. You know, in 2001, it was 9-11 and us. It was our year. They were the biggest musical act that year. It was their year. It was their time. It was See You Later time. Tonight, it's the special with... Spit! And now, your host, Craig Evan! <laughs> What's up, all you posers and punks? It's me, Craig Evan Halen. Can you leave? Uh, I'm here. I've got a huge announcement uh, for the world. Uh, you know, usually, like, I. Well, no, uh, usually. Who's I, running the show here? Well,. You are, but you know, usually like I do a quick joke every week, right? Yeah, yeah right? I don't know. I think the joke is your career, buddy. Please, please let me do this. Oh, why don't you get on your knees and beg? Oh yeah, beg like a dog, please. Now you know what? You know what? You, know, you give me a lot of trouble, mister. You uh -huh. give me a lot of problems. Oh yeah? Yeah, you're almost as bad as my agent, folks, am I right? Let me tell you. <laughs> I called up my agent. I said, you're doing a bad job of getting my name out there. He said, who is this? Oh! <laughs> right. Do you even have an agent? Uh, you know, Johnny... Uh, what movies What movies are you getting booked in? What commercials? Uh, you know, I... Maybe there's an open mic oh. that you're getting booked on? Uh, Maybe. All right. I love this crowd. <laughs> that guy's hilarious. Shut up. <laughs> guys... We're here for a very uh, special reason. As you saw, I've been posing as a punk for a very long time. I've been hiding my true talent as a, as a musician, as a singer. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but back when I was a teenager, I was in a boy band. We were called See You Later. <laughs> Whatever. Um, and, you know, this, this boy band, uh, it, it meant a lot to me and it meant a lot to a lot of people. And we haven't been together for 13 years now, but that changes tonight. So, uh, fans, I want to introduce you to uh, See You Later. Let's bring them out. What's so, my job? Yeah, you're going to read me questions. So uh, here are your cards. Uh, you know, just ask us the questions, questions? that you want to ask. Mm. Oh, great. Whew. 
I'm not much of a host, guys. I'm usually the, I'm usually behind the uh, the old skins, you know. Right, right, right. Uh, Just ask the questions. Okay, well, uh, God. my first question, I guess, is uh, who's the drummer? Who's the drummer? Uh, it's you, isn't it? The questions on the card. The ask the, the questions on the card. I think this guy named Bo or something. Oh. There isn't a drummer. Um, oh, sorry, sorry, guys. That's I have to ask a different question. Um, well, I guess you should first go around and introduce in, introduce yourselves. Um, We'll start with uh, start with you. I'm Robbie Christian. I'm the bad boy of the group. <laughs> wait, wait, no, no, no. I, I'm the bad boy of the group. I think it's pretty obvious. You know, I was like the punk guy. I was mm -hmm. the, the voice of the uh, angry young man. So I don't know. But. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure. Nah. The bad boy. I've done like a lot of legal stuff. Yeah. Well, that's true. I have 18 parking violations. <laughs> <laughs> so. Wow. And how about how about you, Stud Muffin? Yo, what's up? My name is Courtney Whitehall, and I'm the hot one. Yeah. <laughs> you are. Well, I think back in our heyday, I don't know about now, I think I'm pretty sexy still, but in our heyday, I was the hot one as well. No, you open up any teen bop magazine from that time, I'm the centerfold, baby. Hot shit. as shit. <laughs> <laughs> and how about you? Greetings. Hi. I uh, I'm Frankie Faith. I am uh, uh, the fun one, the the <laughs> prankster. Jokes, jokes and japes are my forte and my uh, my cup of tea, my my bread and my butter. Yeah, everybody loved your jokes, buddy. I was a very funny man. That's great. I look forward to hearing some jokes later. You see that guy before? He's hilarious. I, I who, who I didn't I can't see who was it. Arge Barker? <laughs> I don't think that was, I didn't catch his name. I love Arge Barker. <laughs> Great. I, I'm JJ. Are you in JJ? <laughs> it's my number one fan. Hey, baby. J, JJ Ikea? Yeah, Ikea. <laughs> but it's a boy band, and you're not, a, are you a boy? No, I'm a girl. I'm a girl. Like. Yeah, yeah. But it's a boy band. Just move along. Yeah, she, she's a girl, dude. But we'll explain it. Well, it's kind of a long story. Oh. But yeah, JJ's a girl, FYI. Well, I mean, I guess that leads into the next question then. So, like, how did See You Later become See You Later? I mean, what's, for people that aren't, uh, that aren't familiar with the band, Maybe give us yeah. a, like, a little, little history. Um, yeah, man. Says I have to ask Craig first. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, I think what, what happened was uh, we had an uh, empresario, his name was Mel Diamond, and what he did was he kind of plucked the best talents uh, from all over the globe, and he put them together, chose me as the leader of the group, and uh, he, he was actually a friend of my parents, uh, but he like discovered my talent, and of course, you know, history is made. Okay, so the band started with you. So how did these guys get in? Well, I was the last to join, but the band yeah. gelled with me. Uh, so who? So who are the? So who are the? So who are the first members? Yeah. Perhaps you should fill him in. Sure, sure. Yeah. Me and Frankie are the original members. We worked at a theme park called Shallot World, which was oh. a theme park put on by. Film critic Gene Shalit. <laughs> one of the most yeah. famous Gene Shalit based theme parks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've, never, I've never heard of it. Nope. Right. It closed after six months. Yeah, it didn't last that long. It didn't yeah. last that long. It was pretty cool, though. Yeah, it was cool. Sounds really fun. I was working there as Judge Dredd. <laughs> <laughs> if people wanted their picture taken with Judge Dredd, they could do that. And uh, where are you working at? I transferred in from Euro Shallot World. Um, <laughs> I was working at the uh, 3D grumpier old men safari experience. <laughs> wow! Uh, that was I me that in, inside the rubber Walter Matthau costume. <laughs> that was you? Yeah. yeah. You know, Orlando's kind of like not just the hub of theme parks, but that's where a lot of the big boy bands of the era came out in Sync, Backstreet Boys. Mel Diamond kind of worked in that realm. Oh, I'm not too familiar with music from that time. I just kind of stopped at 1982. Yeah, it shows by your hairline. <laughs> well, 
So you guys met at Shallot World? Yeah, Shallot, Shallot World. Shallot World. We would do these little uh, song so, and dance routines on our lunch break, and then uh, Mel discovered us, and we were the first two. So so you guys were the first two, then who joined? How'd you get in the band? Uh, well, I met Mel Diamond uh, when I was in uh, Juvie. Uh, I went to Juvie when I was 13 because I threw my baby brother out of a helicopter. <laughs> uh, he's okay now. Uh, I gotta say, Mel Diamond yeah. really cared about people. Like, he, he went all over the theme parks, scouting for talent. Uh, that's Sounds how like he was hanging out at yeah. the juvenile detention center, too, looking for. I mean, yeah, you know, sometimes you gotta polish a rock. He's got a real eye for young boys. <laughs> yeah. From what you told me, yeah. Mm -hmm. So he found you singing, he saw you singing in the showers there. Yeah, and I uh, offered you a chance to join. And see you later. Yeah, I was also in the in the Juvie choir, and uh, we were singing Abba medleys. So I was practicing <laughs> oh, in the shower, and he's like, "Abba's great." Yeah. Yeah. Wow. SOS. <laughs> Waterloo. <laughs> honey, honey. I don't know. Good songs. Yeah, that's good. So, so then, JJ, yeah. how did how, how did you? What was your entrance into See You Later? Um. Well. I was at the souvenir shop in Charlotte place and so I was singing inside of this recording studio that they had for like tourists. It's fun. Yeah, I was singing my favorite song from Titanic as uh, Don't Wanna Miss a Thing or something. <laughs> oh, by Aerosmith. Yeah, yeah. And Celine Dion. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I love that. I love Aerosmith. Oh, yeah. It's great. The drums in the uh, Rocks album is just... Uh, I think Celine Dion sang the song from Titanic. Yeah. yeah, she wasn't in Aerosmith. Maybe she joined. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure Aerosmith. she joined Aerosmith. later on. In she didn't. Aerosmith. No, she didn't join Aerosmith. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she yeah. did. Anyway, I was yeah, singing the song. The yeah, yeah. it's the mm -hmm. iceberg. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. So you were singing, "I don't want to miss a thing." Right. I was like getting really into it, and then I guess like from the loudspeakers, you can hear whoever's singing in the recording studio, mm -hmm. and then I get out, and then there's these like people that put a hat on me and they took me away. Yeah, I think what the, they heard the, her voice, and they were like, "Whoever that is, we got to have them join the boy band." And it was just a girl, so I was like, "Yeah, like she looks like a boy and she has a hat on." Yeah, yeah. Couldn't tell she was. So a girl then with you the guys hat. were all together, and you were the last member to join. Yeah, you my, said, my daddy called Mel and said, "You got to put him in the band. He's gonna blow everybody away." And I think I did, right? Right? Yeah. Well, that leads us to our next question, actually. Um, Craig's been called a musical genius and a charismatic en enigma. Thank Why? You. Frankie? Uh, who? By whom? Uh, by the cards. It's written on the cards. <laughs> the cards. They're written by whom? Uh, Craig, who wrote the cards? The fans. If Fans didn't write that. Did you, you write that? Yeah, it sounds like you wrote that. Yeah, you guys wrote that. That, that sounds as though Craig Twitter. wrote yeah, them that definitely himself. Sounds like Maybe Craig we'll just go to the them. next question. Yeah. Uh, what's been the best part of working with a musical genius like Craig? Musical genius? Yeah. No. I, mean, I wouldn't yeah. call him that. He didn't really contribute a whole lot. Like, yeah, maybe musical, <laughs> musical but, but it's right here it says critics said Craig was the most talented member of the group. Yes. He's well, I'm sort of the bad boy. Yeah, I'm the hot one. <laughs> the, the bad boy. The prankster. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm the, the sporty one who loves sports. Mm -hmm. The good, the and good then, one. And then there's yeah. Craig. It says here, it says here, like it says, it says here like Craig was the yeah. heart and soul of the group, the backbone. No, it's more I like the shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the shit? Craig, were you the sh were you the sh were the shitty one? Yeah. 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 I definitely yeah. say you know the shitty one. I think uh, it's time to bring out our guests. Uh, Guys, uh, why don't you powwow crying. and maybe remember why you're here? It's another, I'm uh, a bad boy. Somebody it's, else. My dad is friends with a lot of executive oh, yeah. producers, and one of them uh, works on a lot of the shows that this guy hosts. Uh, put your hands together for Adam Richmond. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take a seat right over here. Wow, wow, big, don't worry big, about big them. Don't worry about them. Uh, I'm sorry. They're, they're definitely okay, not. Okay, well, see you later. <laughs> No, just sit over here, please. Oh, please. <laughs> I'm such a comfy chair, I couldn't resist. Yeah. Oh. So, man versus food. Yes. Food fighters. Mm-hmm. What's your problem with food? <laughs> just, it needs, it needs to be told who's boss. Is this not even on? Is this on? I see our little red light on. Is it on? Tech. Good? Tech. <laughs> Is this on? 
I don't know, but yes, I have no problem with food. I, I have a problem just uh, uh, not finding enough of it, I guess. Yeah, but like what, what makes you wanna just eat it all? I mean, it's so damn awesome. It doesn't judge you. No, I mean, it's just, it's amazing. It tells a story and uh, everywhere you go, there's uh, th like people communicate through food. It's like the one language we all speak. Mm -hmm. Now, I think maybe you had a sort of adversarial relationship with food but now your new show, or your, your current show, man, meets food. Finds food. Finds, uh, whatever, I don't. It's all good. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm having a hard time with this group. They're kind of. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, man. Band breakups can be rough. I mean, this is a reunion. It should be the easy part. I'm so sorry, man. It's also a tough, big genre swap, going from like punk to the boy band thing, back I mean, to the boy the band thing. Punk, the punk was a posture. <laughs> it didn't matter. Like, nobody's punk. Are there? No. Like, like growing up, who was your favorite boy band? My favorite boy band? Probably growing up, I'd say probably something like New Edition. New Edition. Back yeah. in the day, yeah. Classics, yeah. I kind of, I would write New Edition on my uh, binder at school. Yeah, cool binder. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, Mr. Telephone Man. I mean, I just, I was, I was about it, about it. I even like when they became Bill Biv DeVoe, DeVoe and tried to get it hard, but that whole smacking it and flipping it, rubbing it down. Oh no, they need a body bag. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm more of a Bobby Brown fan. Yeah, you know, I mean, different strokes for different folks. I liked when he went solo. He's a cool guy. He was. Yeah. I, I you Great know, singer. I was with him right up until he crapped his pants on Celebrity Fit Club. I was, <laughs> I was right up. He said game time and crapped his pants. And and if I was next to Nicole Eggert, I I very well my I was a big Charles in Charge fan back in the day. So, <laughs> see, he knows. Hey, fun fact: Charles in Charge takes place in Banana's hometown of New Brunswick, New Jersey. Really? That's a real fact. Which I didn't you've know been that. on in your show, Man vs. Food. Man vs. Food. food, I went there. That's right. I went to uh, the Grease Trucks out by Rutgers. Oh. And Mario Batali's <laughs> first restaurant job ever at Stuff Your Face Stromboli's. That's oh. in New Brunswick. And I, w I, wish I, I wish the other one was in New Brunswick. You're going to go, oh, but it's uh, Harold's in Edison, New Jersey. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. SOL. No, he's Shit more, out he's, of luck. He's What's more of a so, McDonald's so guy, well? really. Shit out of luck? Cool, thanks. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for your acronym pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> he's, I forgive him. He's a big fan of your shows. No, he's awesome. I'm a huge, huge Thank fan. you, dude. I, I love, appreciate that. I love eating. I love driving. I, you know, I've been, I've been in bands for more years than I can remember. And, you know, so you're just constantly on the road and you're looking for food and... You know, once I saw your show, it really helped out, especially when I was roadieing for a Silver Bullet band. Uh, you know. You Godspeed, know. Mr. Seeger. I Bob is, you, you know Bob? Not personally, no. No, me neither. I, you me know. Neither. I wasn't in the Silver Bullet band, but I would like play a drum. What? Don't, don't. I'm fascinated. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> we're here to talk about your career. Gotcha. How did you become the, the traveling food guy? How did I become the traveling food guy? I started a food journal in 95 when I was at Emory University in Atlanta and um, started like driving around and going to places. And I actually started, I bought like one of those blank, um, like those blank Moleskin books after like a really wicked breakup. I mean, you're a songwriter, you understand. Yeah. And I thought I was gonna go write like kind of douchey college breakup poetry, like real turtleneck clove smoking douchebag poetry. Yeah, like, I hate, oh, I hate guys heart. that wear turtlenecks and smoke clove cigarettes. They are so They're hateable, lame. they're hateable. <laughs> I guarantee you there's like a, a sandals with socks ensemble somewhere in their past. That's not a good look. So I started um, writing this journal of this particular restaurant I had found, and I realized I was writing about much more than the food and the way the whole restaurant affected me. So I, I started doing that some more, and because um, it didn't, there was no blogs back then, you know, because I'm old, and uh, we didn't have that. So I started uh, writing, and I would go to like church picnics and places in Conyers, Georgia, Peachtree City, Georgia. Um, could drive a little bit further to South Carolina, to northern Florida, and just kept adding into this food journal. And then eventually, um, I, uh, I went to Yale Drama, got some agents, and then I found out through them the Travel Channel wanted someone that had culinary experience. And I've been in and around kitchens, working in kitchens since I'm 13, and I uh, have my journal. I've been living around the country for the better part of a decade. And I mean, everywhere from an Indian reservation in North Carolina to you know, uh, living in France or living in Ireland, and, and I just kept a, a journal of it all. So I auditioned, and I had 
on-camera experience, culinary experience, and I knew some really badass places to eat. So Man vs. Food was born in 08, and then um, it became Man, Man vs. Food Nation, Best Sandwich in America, Fandemonium, and now Man Finds Food, where we're going to off-the-menu, uh, finding off-the-menu dishes and off-the-beaten-path restaurants. Where would you say is the worst food in the world? Like, in terms of an individual place? Yeah. Like, name Ooh. a restaurant. Oh, a particular <laughs> restaurant. You know, I mentioned one place because they're closing, and the, uh, the pretentiousness bothered me because the hate actual... pretentiousness. Dude, so, so rough. I, uh, there was a place in L.A. called Red Medicine, and they were like, they would famously, I like, call you out on Twitter if you missed your reservation until, like, some guy's like, yeah, my father had a heart attack, dude. Sorry about your little restaurant reservation. I had bigger fish to fry. But it was just like the... The composition of the plates, it was skillfully done, but really, like, not accessible. It wasn't food. It was very arty, but, like, you'd have a whole plate, but the food would be tucked in one corner, and the rest of the plate would be bare, and they'd go pour some shit on top of it. They're like, you get this whole dessert, and it was like this chocolate, custardy, whatever. And then they're like, here's some Lovage juice. I'm like, listen, I don't want you to pour anything on my chocolate custard, let alone Lovage juice. Like, we're on the west side of Manhattan. I can get Lovage juice anywhere I want. I what's, don't need to, yeah. What's Lovage juice? When you find out, you tell me, dude. I know Lovage is like some kind of green herbaceous. I'm making shit up. I don't really know. It's some kind like of weird thing that had no business. I know. I'm such a letdown. No, so. no, no. You're... I Personal. wish I knew, but it was it was just also even their drinks, their drinks were numbered, um, and again the the food was composed beautifully, but it was not, it's just different. Like when you go to Peter Luger's and you order a steak, you get a steak that looks and tastes like a steak, and you get Leonay potatoes. You go to Joe Stone Crab in Miami and you get Stone Crab claws, or you go to. Oklahoma Joe's Barbecue, which happens to be in Kansas. You go there and you get burnt ends and you get slaw and it looks and it tastes like it is. But if I order something and it looks like a terrarium and I want to get the iguana from my second grade class to go play around on it. Don't, please don't mention iguanas, but continue. Oh, you had a bad iguana experience? <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah. You guys it's, know it's fine. I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, it's okay. Someone has to. No. I, well, you, you mentioned barbecue. I did. You're headed to the UK. Correct. They don't have barbecue there. They actually do. It's kind of bananas. It's like a $58 million a year industry in the United Kingdom now. Barbecue's crazy. There's uh, these two guys have a place called Red's True Barbecue in Leeds and Manchester, and they're making like $20 million a year uh, from three locations doing barbecue. It's the fastest growing food in the United Kingdom. And, you know, if you've ever had steak and kidney pie or jellied eels, you understand why they've, they've taken our food instead of theirs. And, um, yeah, I'm... I'm executive producing and host or judging a show there called barbecue champ and then uh shoot it's like the game show bonanza and then i've got my other game show on nbc i'm doing food fighter season two on nbc so i'm i'm, I'm every which away thank you wow so that's when you people like like girls fighting food i wish i wish i think the ratings would be infinitely better <laughs> home cooks bring five of their best recipes and go up against five professional chefs and they don't know what chef they're going up against or their expertise. Chef doesn't know what they're cooking till right before. And they try to find recipes that are in that chef's sort of blind spot. And it's amazing. We even have kids cooking uh, this season. We have a 12-year-old girl, 14-year-old boy. And even LL Cool J's goddaughter is a professional chef. She's one of our pros. Girl's 14, and she's doing nine-course tasting menus coming out of, of her house. You're looking at me with such daggers in your eyes. Did I eat, like, something that I shouldn't have? The, the haterade is just real. I feel it. The hairy eyeball. I just look this way. <laughs> Point taken. Thank you. I have, I have a question. Yes. You, you, you speak so eloquently of men versus food, but I'd love to know your view on when man becomes food. <laughs> like when a shark or a bear eats you? Or if another man perhaps wants to snack upon the flesh of another man. You don't need to I address mean, that. No, that's what Craigslist is for, all right? I'm guessing, <laughs> like, wasn't there actually a dude who, like, took out an ad saying, like, I want to eat you, and some dude answered, and, like, the family tried to, like, sue the consumer, you sick fuck, and so uh, <laughs> they, no, that someone... Guy, a guy volunteered to be eaten by another guy. 
and 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 so it happened. It, it actually is a real thing. Yeah. I'm not into it. It's that easy. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask a question? Yeah, Mr. Richmond. Now you, you're you're a real TV host. I try to be. You I mean, you host. Sounds like hundreds of shows. <laughs> Three at any given time. <laughs> this is my first time hosting a TV show. How's it going? I, I, not so good. <laughs> I, I'm entertained. Will you, can you help me? Can you give me sure. some advice? Sure. I mean, for me, it's always you make it about the guest and the subject matter, and you try to make yourself kind of invisible and uh, move the narrative along so the audience doesn't get bored and, and be bored? honest. Are the audience bored? No. That's a resounding no and one woo. So <laughs> I'm doing I think okay. you're doing a damn good job. You're doing better than the ratings of <laughs> better than the ratings of the fandom audience. You don't need to pander to the audience. He's doing a bad job. It's fine. Oh man, maybe punk rock isn't dead. That, that was a pretty punky like sentiment though. I I, I have one more question for you. Okay. You've got a book coming out. I do have a book. I have a book that just came out, actually. That's right. I'm sorry. Uh, in this book, you're going around, uh, you're finding the best dishes in restaurants. Mm -hmm. Well, these are sort of recipes that I, that I did that are inspired by, like, my travels. Like You're stealing recipes. <laughs> <laughs> well, Picasso said, good artists borrow, but great artists steal. So why are you, why, what do you have against the service industry? Oh man, you know, I just don't want to do any more side work, basically. My whole <laughs> life is just one firm commitment to never doing side work again. You know, not having to fold napkins into like little threes anymore, do bundles of silverware. You know, I, I worked uh, here in Manhattan on the Upper West Side at a restaurant called uh, Sushi Hana. And um, it was like the craziest cast of characters. And like, look, the service industry is what made me and it supports every other actor that I know like on the come up. But I don't think anybody really like seeks to like, yeah, I want to do a shit ton of side work. I want to have a bunch of Columbia students tell me I'm an asshole because I forgot the soy sauce. Like, I, I have goals. These are not one of them. And the funniest thing about Sushi Hana for me was like, I was like, hmm, let's see the way this works. Because I was eventually working in the kitchen there that I was like, OK, so two Upper West Side New York Jewish intellectuals will go into the Japanese restaurant where the Chinese waiter will give your order to the Vietnamese bartender, who will then send it downstairs to the kitchen, where an illegal immigrant will take that order off the printer, give it to the Jewish sushi chef to make for you, who will then in turn <laughs> give it to another illegal immigrant, who will then put it on a dumb waiter, where the Chinese waiter will hand it to the Vietnamese bartender to get the other Chinese waiter to bring you your Japanese food. And there's New York. <laughs> well, I've never had to work a service job, and I'm glad that you won't ever have to either. you got a great career. Thank you so much. Give it up for Adam Richmond. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Evan Hammond. Craig Evan Hammond. you, you got to love him. Love the old stuff. Love the new stuff. Thanks. Good to see you back. You know, sticking to your roots, brother. Yeah, maybe we'll have you on the tour. You could, like, insure the band. I would do the best I can do better than I did tonight, I assure you. You're fine. This guy, though. So, I just said don't screw this up. Ask mm -hmm. about the present day. Fuck. Uh, give it up for Adam Richmond. Bah! <laughs> wow. I'm, so, I'm still a little starstruck. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it's okay. Oh, okay, next question. Your fans want to know where you've been. So, it's been... It's been 10 years since See You Later. Was it broke? To, I guess 11 years, 2004? Yeah. 2004, you guys broke up in 2004. So it's 11 years. Where, where you guys been? I guess we'll, we'll start with uh, Craig, the heart and soul. You know where I've been. I've been leading one of the most revolutionary punk bands in the world, and I didn't even care about it, so continue. <laughs> I cared about it. So Robbie. Yeah. You know, I uh, band broke band broke up. Um, where's Robbie now? Uh, I've done a lot of stuff. Uh, Mel Diamond helped me uh, get a few auditions after I, after the band disbanded. Mm -hmm. um, I had a small part in the Shaggy Dog too. Uh, <laughs> I did a small voice part in Dougal 2006. <laughs> uh, and uh, I don't know, things kind of Fell apart after the motorcycle accident. Oh, I'm so yeah. sorry. Yeah. Were, were there any injuries? Uh, no, I was fine. I was just uh, 
I was cruising down the highway, I was going like 118 miles an hour, and then I thought like, hey, I should make a really sharp turn right now. Uh, I mean, I know, heroin does that to the brain, right? Heroin? We bring that up. Yeah. You're such a dick. Yeah. Yeah. What, I'm just, uh, this is, I, you He's came out of it. Craig's joking. He didn't, no. he didn't do heroin. I mean, it's a good thing. You, yeah, you had, went to rehab and stuff. I had a drug addiction um, oh. for a period of time after the crash. Um, Before the crash. Be honest. And during the crash a little bit. <laughs> I did a little uh so sorry. I did a little H. Um I had a little bit of E as well. Um some C. Uh double C. Um here and there, uh some M. Uh and a whole lot of Q. So Wow, so you're, but you've beat your, you beat your demons. Yeah, I uh, went to rehab and uh, and uh, I have a new motorcycle. So that's <laughs> great. That's great. I'm happy. You, I'm happy you found the help you needed. Yeah. Thanks, Darren. It's great, Rob. Bobby, great. <laughs> Courtney, the stud. Hey, this guy buddy. is so oh, hot. Come on, man. <laughs> you are. You oh, are. Man. I know I am. Uh, uh, so yeah. so. You know, but, uh, uh, see you later, broke what, up. And what have I been up to? Yeah, what yeah. have I been up to? Well, uh, I'll be honest, at the start, I got off to a little bit of a shaky beginning. Uh, I was a fish tank cleaner for a little bit. Okay. <laughs> uh, then, uh, then during one of my jobs, I uh, broke this guy's super expensive fish tank. I mean, it was no. like a super expensive fish tank. Shit. So yeah, the you rumors are. I well, here's the thing. He was out of town. Um, <laughs> so uh, I had this friend who was a male pimp. Uh, it's kind of like this. Yeah, so his name was, was TJ. He's kind of like this Eddie Griffin type. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, I don't know who that is. Yeah, uh, he's a comedian. Anyway. Um, cool. Yeah, so the rumors are true. I did do a little bit of work as a male gigolo for a little bit. Um, I tried I tried that too, but like I just kept giving out freebies. Right. <laughs> yeah. You got to charge, man. Really, yeah, you got to no, charge. I'm too nice. Yeah, um, yeah, the thing was, though, I, I never had sex with these women, you know? No. It was all about making them feel good. I mean, these were women with perceived flaws. And, you know, I would just try to shine a different light on them. Like, I went out with this one girl, uh, Ruth and she had a bad case of Tourette's. So I oh, thought, no. you know, where would that fit in? And uh, you know, I took her to a baseball game and she was shouting the curse <laughs> words and everyone was loving it. They're all shouting curse <laughs> words along with her. And wow, that was I so made nice her feel of you. Good. Yeah. yeah, that was really sweet. Yeah, really no, nice. I, I felt very good about myself. And then, uh, you know, of course, the law intervened and uh, I got. Uh, got arrested and put on trial. But so uh, you know, since I never had sex with the girls. Um, I was cleared of all the charges. That's and, great. Uh, I got I got married. I got married. Uh, well, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Wow. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Congratulations. Um, thanks. She uh, she died in a shark attack. <laughs> and, um, oh, that's so around sorry. the time I started working as a European gigolo. So, <laughs> wow. yeah. Great. Well, that's that sounds like quite a that's it's quite a story. Adam, like when such when a you're nice... on the road, do you do you get any of those road rats? And road, road rats? Is yeah. that what you call like, like? Well, I mean, what are they? I don't even prostitutes. Know they are. <laughs> oh, like you get pro. Like no, 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 no. There's no, no road rats. No road rats. Rat-free environment. You should see the rats on the bullet band tour. Oh really? <laughs> Stop talking about Bob Seger, please. <laughs> I'm sorry, to be such a dud. It's not nearly fine. enough prostitutes in the food world. Sorry. <laughs> Batali got them all. <laughs> Uh, well, Courtney, I mean, Craig made it seem like when he talked to me about you, you were like such an egomaniac. But you're like, you're such a nice uh, guy. Like it's and of course he would, man. You know, <laughs> he's got to be the center of attention all the time. I don't Everyone's... need to be the center of attention. Hey, look at where he's sitting. <laughs> he's sitting in the center. That's true. He's sitting in the center. It's yeah. the center. Yeah. Yeah. I, you could have sat here. Yeah, but I just had to do the interview. All right. Because I didn't right, trust man. him. All right. Whatever, man. What about? Free hippie boy, right? <laughs> For, yeah, Fr Frankie. Uh, it says here you've been on more of a spiritual journey. <laughs> since. Yeah. See you later. Yes. Um, since the dissolution of the band, uh, I 
decided to parlay my uh, my notoriety as uh, the fun one, the prankster, uh, into a a, a comedy career. Um, but it's uh, very hard to keep up with the likes of your Colin Mockery's, your <laughs> Brian Stiles's, your right. Brad Sherwood's. <laughs> <laughs> So I, uh, you know, a long story. Let's cut, cut, cut to the chase here. Uh, funny there's a, there's a line. There were dark times. There's a line in the American justice system, where jokes and japes and hijinks and shenanigans uh, <laughs> end, and uh, multiple uh, blazing forest fires begin. <laughs> And I crossed that line, and I crossed it again, <laughs> and I won't ever cross it again, because now I have been saved. I have been inducted into a, uh, uh, a society, not, not necessarily a secret society, you see, but uh, it's a... Uh, um, are you a seer or a non-seer? <laughs> Me? Yes. I'm a drummer. <laughs> I'm the bad boy. <laughs> yes. Well, is that a dress? This is a hot one. You see? Well, this is this is this is orange. This is my color. I'm surprised you can see the orange. Are are you a seer? <laughs> Jewish. What? <laughs> I know, I, you know, I know what he's talking about. I read about it in Vice. He's in this group. He's in this group called the Perception Society. It's this like weird religious sex cult. It's, yeah, I, I didn't read this article. Part of part of my initiation rites was I was taught illiteracy. <laughs> so I don't know what Gregory is talking about. Um, <laughs> You are funny. <laughs> oh yeah, so funny. I loved your, your little pranks that you would do on the tour bus. Oh, oh you I'm sure they really appreciate that on, in the commune. It's funny. not in the cards, but would you tell me a prank? One of the pranks. Yeah. No, don't, don't, don't go into the pranks. It, don't go into the pranks. We're see you later. Just one. There were many, I believe. Don't touch uh, me. Don't touch which me. one was your favorite, Craig? <laughs> Wait, did you do most of the pranks to Craig? Well, he's. Yeah. Uh, oh, he hates that. He's so sensitive. He's you can't do that to an him. An easy target, you see. <laughs> Craig would fall asleep a lot, and I, I may or may not have dipped all of his clothes in liquid nitrogen and <laughs> shattered them on the ground. Oh, he, he is so particular <laughs> about his funny. clothes. I may he must have been funny. so mad. I may or may not have put an iguana in his bed and thrown oh. that bed. Oh. 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 Sorry. And oh. thrown oh. that bed out of a ninth-story window. I <laughs> Yeah, I've seen, like, if he sees, like, any kind of reptile, he's just... Just yeah. stomping on it, it yeah. with his foot. His foot, I may or may not have I'll severed. take it out of a terrarium, another word that you brought up. <laughs> I don't Please. care. I don't care. I hate reptiles. <laughs> How about the time I severed both of your middle toes and ate them in front of you? Is that why you, is that why you refuse to take your socks off? Yeah, that's... I. Everybody, I'm hoping everybody has a laugh at this cannibalism that's going on. Is that what they do at the perception study? Is that why you were asking him if he's going to be man becomes food? I didn't read the article. Are you th are you threatening to eat Adam Richman? He's a wonderful man and well seasoned. He's... <laughs> do not threaten to eat my guests. I'm so sorry. Craig. He's a celebrity. You're a nobody. I, I I used to be somebody. Speaking of nobodies. I mean, oh. well, I'm not, I'm not saying that as an insult. You, you were, you're so confused about who you actually were. No, I wasn't fucking confused. You put a hat on me. Yeah. <laughs> put this stupid hat on me and make me look like a boy. Yeah, and you're speaking with an Australian accent. You're from Orlando, Florida. Whatever. <laughs> I don't care. Anyway, I'm famous now. You're famous. <laughs> <laughs> That's my number one fan right there. Oh, my God. <laughs> the one fan. Oh so you, so so you, you, you you're still. Uh, are you? What are you famous for? I'm famous for. I'm, I'm famous for. I am on sound. I'm on SoundCloud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's SoundCloud. Is that like a record label? It's really hard to get on SoundCloud. Yeah, it's super hard. I didn't even know how to do it in the first first place. 
<laughs> so somebody, so like somebody helped you do that? Yeah. Good. Well, I'm happy. I'm really happy for you. So. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm happy you saw an Iggy Azalea video and you adopted it. You see what I'm talking about? All what are you these talking people about? Are... Have my own look, you ass. No, 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 no. no. Sh you shut up. Yeah. They, these are all. Shut up. These are all. Yeah, shut up. Crazy <laughs> people. I'm sorry. Wait, I didn't mean to invite you uh, into this, uh, this, uh, this, this mental Wait. hospital. We've got this girl. She doesn't know if she's a girl or a guy or what Stop her nationality it. is. Th this cannibal sex freak, this uh, human real doll, this drug addict, uh, recidivist. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. The director's the re director's pointing at me. It says we have. Uh, he's saying we have a band. Come, what, what band? We have a. I don't know. We have a band. Who's the? Oh, are you, is this your band? Uh, it's Mars County band. <laughs> Mark? Are you, oh, Dan, Mark! You're gonna be singing? No, no. no. So uh, Mark's? They're a, lot, they're a lot better than bananas, I'll tell you that. Oh. All right, ladies Fine. and gentlemen, King Spit. Yeah! Uh, Woo!
is that the name? Kicking Spit? Yeah. Great, great. Uh, do you have any shows you want to plug? Is this a new band? Well, we have a new record that's recorded at Volume 4 in New Brunswick. Uh, did talking to the mic, idiot. Wow, this guy. Uh, we have a new record that's been recorded at Volume 4 in New Brunswick. If anyone in anywhere would like to put it out, please contact us at kickingspit.bandcamp.com. Great, good luck with that. Yeah. Thanks, Greg. Mark, you never once talked in the band. All right, uh, guys, where'd the band go? Come on, sit down, come on. Whoa, you guys rock! We're running, come on. You're, so, you're such a good drummer. Whoa. No, shut up, Whoa. shut up. All Did right. you guys hear them? Yeah, that was really cool. I'm guys, gonna get a band camp soon, too. All right, yeah, great. Good luck with that. Look, I've been talking to these guys backstage. I think they can all agree that they're not doing so well, and I'm not trying to come down on you. I know I'm a little abrasive, uh, but I really want the best for you guys. So we were talking a little bit, and I'm very happy to announce my parents have been talking to uh, talent bookers. Uh, we've been talking to uh, uh, record labels, and we've even been talking to MySpace for a little promotion. Uh, our old buddies at MySpace. Um, and what, what's going to happen is uh, the band's getting back together. What? Yeah! <laughs> That's right, yeah. So, you know, stay tuned. Uh, it's, it's, it's happening. You guys can come see us when we're on tour. Uh, we're going to go to all the festivals, and uh, you'll be new able music? to see. New music? New music? Uh, yeah, I think we're going to write some new songs, right, guys? Yeah, so uh, <laughs> uh, just come see us on tour. It's the uh, classic lineup uh, of the See You Later. Classic lineup? Ryan! Ryan St. John. John! Ryan! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, man. Whoa, whoa, I know you! I saw you from Rolling Stone! You came! Dude! Yeah, well, you didn't have to look for I was on the cover. Uh, who invited <laughs> you? You were! No, he was! The... Craig, do you know who that is? Yeah, I know. Who invited That's him? Ryan St. John. Who invited? The band invited me. Yeah. You didn't tell yeah. you, Craig? Dude, Ryan's here. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is a reunion of the original lineup. Yeah, but he was part of the real lineup. Yeah. No, 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 no. That was when a different... When you made it all come together. Right. Yeah. You... Well, as most people know, I came on on the third album, The Phoenix. Yeah. The Phoenix. Yeah. Yeah. The Phoenix? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, like, the first two albums laid the groundwork for The Phoenix. I couldn't have done it without Craig. The second yeah. album was huge. Yeah, in Bosnia. In Bosnia. Yeah. It was yeah. a huge hit in Bosnia. Bosnia. Bosnia only. It really was. War yeah. torn Bosnia. Yeah. yeah. Wow. We'd see the, we'd be riding through on our tour bus. Everybody was looking for Craig, slapping on the windows. Yeah. yeah. I think they're just trying to get they're in. They're just trying to get in yeah. to yeah. be free. Yeah. Well, but, uh, guys, thank you for everyone looks party. so good. Oh, thanks, <laughs> no, you guys look good. Man. How's the new motorcycle man? treating you? Dude, I rev that thing. I just sit in my garage. I just rev it. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. You better have that garage door open. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't want to kill yourself. Yeah, it's good. You know, right? So nice. Well, you know what I mean. And how, how you doing, hot boy? Damn. Doing great, man. I You've mean, never been sexier. <laughs> it's true. Uh, it's you're true. the sexy one. Oh, come on, man. Man, you helped me discover my inner gigolo, <laughs> my inner animal, <laughs> and my inner hot chick. <laughs> I didn't have to do much. <laughs> no. It was, it was in there the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, how's the society going? Oh. You, yeah, I think I paid off those dues, right? You did. It's yeah. wondrous. Father Cyril, he welded the hole in my penis shut. <laughs> <laughs> Smoothed it over. It's not unlike the top of a salt shaker. Yeah. Um, so oh. that no fluids can come out. And my scrotal sack has grown big with fluids. The semenomium <laughs> harvest should be good this year. <laughs> Pardon the pun, but I... I bet you're the cock of the walk over there. <laughs> Perhaps you're the funny one. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's the, uh, what was that sauce you were talking about before? Lovage juice. Yeah. <laughs> I'd avoid that. I hate it even more now. <laughs> wow. This thing must look like band roll-on. It's viscous. Oh. <laughs> and uh, your beats are maybe the best, maybe be better than Beyonce and Jay-Z put yeah. together. Are you serious? Yeah. Have you heard them? Yeah, are you kidding me? Oh, man. Your SoundCloud's the top number one SoundCloud in the world. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> like, you like helped me put it together, and I'm, I'm really trying to work on my schizophrenia and stuff, and you're like, really helping me out. Yeah, I'm so impressed by you. <gasps> Thank so you. So nice. So you, re 
You replaced Craig. I'm just trying to put this all together. You replaced yeah. Craig and see you later. Yeah. I left the band. You left? Kick, mm -hmm. kicked you kicked out. him out. Yeah. We kicked him yeah, out. Well, guys, yeah. guys. Craig, did you get, I mean, you got kicked out? Yeah, sure. definitely kicked sure. out. I, yeah. I was, and I was, then you replaced him, and you guys were more successful than you ever were before. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, what's yeah. the measure yeah. of success? Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, I, yeah. As long as you guys felt successful the whole time, that's what success is to me. God, and you know what, so Craig? Nice. The band, I, I think I liked them. I, I, I've liked, I loved the band the whole time, you know? Yeah. Uh, and and well. you're fucking great, man. You're really, really uh, just it's misunderstood. inspiring. Yeah, you're just misunderstood. And, and you're the reason why I fell in love with the band in the first place. I mean, I got to fall in love deeper with the band because of all of you, you know? Big of you to say. Yeah. So nice. Yeah. nice. Thanks, so cool, Ryan St. John. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a shame you'll. You're the best. You know, you got your own career going. We got the band getting back together. So I'm glad we're both kind of going off in our other separate directions. Yeah. Well, I, I was thinking about maybe being in the band too. No, nah, it's yeah. not going to happen. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. What do you guys think? Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's the reunion of the original lineup, so. Yes. Well, I mean, oh, man. I don't see where I, I, I can't jump in, too. Uh, yeah. There's room for one more, right? right. Yeah, yeah, there's always yeah. room for you should be in. Absolutely. Yeah. You're the king. Oh, come on, man. You should be in. You should. What do you say? Fine. Fine. Huh? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 I don't care. I'm big, together. too. Yeah. Yeah. See you later. He's back. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah. All right, coming up next, we're gonna uh, do a, a, a song. Uh, but here's Kicking Spit again. Say what I wanted to, what's been said before. It's been fun, don't tell me what I ought to do, what's been done before. It's been fun, don't say what I want to do, what's been said before. It's been fun, don't tell me what I ought to do, what's been done before.
for the first time in 13 years, ladies and gentlemen, see you later! I think we should do our uh, hit away message. All right? Uh, no, nah, I don't. No. You guys, well, we had a much bigger hit off the Phoenix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh. yeah. But away message, that's the one where I'm like sort of the focus. It's about that girl. No, yeah. that sounds yeah. don't stupid. Nobody though. uses like AIM anymore. Yeah, yeah that's weird. Yeah, but it was a super effective way to communicate back in the day. Oh, yeah. 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 Great. <laughs> You're being very nice. I don't, I don't, I just don't really know that song. I, I never sing it. Well, you could, well, just, I mean, step aside and maybe try to dance or, I, I'm not sure. Do, yeah, just feel, check it out. Over there. Sure. Feel good. This feels great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see you standing at the cinema <laughs> Like an angel from heaven above I wanna say hello and ask you out to dinner But you'd never want part of my life Deserve so much more. I could love you so tenderly, but you never would open the door. <laughs> but every night as I sleep, my mind drifts to a place, a place with wild possibilities. Never want to wake up, don't want it to end. dreams we can touch I can finally express my love to you <laughs> things. Not too good, huh? Maybe you could do a solo career, huh? I don't know. Go around, sing the national anthem or something. Yeah. Francis Scott off key. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Mark. Darren. Dan. Come on. Band meeting. Band meeting. 
Oh boy, boss. Wow, this song is so good. Yeah, it was. It sucked. Wow. Look. That was really good. Yeah. Holy shit, that prank I just pulled on that band, right? <laughs> Dan, how was Letterman? <laughs> Car trouble? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I, uh, band practice tomorrow? Right? Hey, fuck you, dipshit. Yeah, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> All right, uh, Mark. I'm sorry, uh, I'm gonna sue your band. I can still be in the band? Yep. Yes! Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, boy. I'm not in See You Later, though. Nope. It's, we're in Bananas. <laughs> I'm not in See You Later, either. Yo, give it up for Adam Richmond. <laughs> and Mark, what was the name of your band? King, King Spit. That too. I'm gonna go to the bar. You guys know how to play space trucking? <laughs>